Oh, that's teleport. <laughs> <laughs> Tired of all the extra cables in your system? Well, Fractal has you covered with their new Ion Family Power Supplies. Available in a variety of sizes and wattages, including SFX, the Ion family of power supplies from Fractal has what you need for clutter-free reliability. To learn more, click the link in the description below. So, date, part two, day one, two, whatever. Part, here. whatever, yeah, I don't know. Did it start yesterday? No, it started yesterday. Okay, so we just stopped filming part one, and now we're filming part two. Um, yeah, so we're heading to the new studio to drop some stuff off but I kind of wanted to talk to you about some of the design concepts here. I have spent so much time watching setup videos, uh, tech tuber setups and like ultimate setups and, and all the stuff that like Random Frank P does and uh, Tech Sourced and all of them. Uh, like they are really good for ideas, but for the most part, and I hope I don't trigger anyone with this, for the most part, I feel like the setups that are featured are the type of setup that someone half my age would have. So it's like Ikea everything, which we're gonna kind of be going with a bit of Ikea here just for the simplicity of it, that's fine. But it's like, Phil, help me out here. I'm trying to explain how I feel like I'm going for something a little okay, bit Okay, boomer. <laughs> Not many young people are looking for wood grain and stuff, right? They're like, oh, oh white, I want white everything. Which is cool, but I'm too messy for whites. Um, the other thing is like, I want something that says, this is higher end and classy look but still a gaming environment that's functional, but fun, if that makes sense. But it also is a retreat where I can walk in this room and just sit down on the couch and be like, okay, I just watch a little TV, kind of have a break, maybe play some Xbox or something, you know? Um, so that's why the color scheme, if you saw that I'm going with, is kind of bold. It's a very bold blue gray color. It's called Equinox from Dunn Edwards. Um, very dark very blue tinted and it changes based on the way the light hits it. I like that. We think with all the white trim and the warm wood grain that we're going with, darker wood grain is going to give it a bit of a classy feel. So I'll let Phil kind of talk for a minute. We've kind of planned this out, like the general layout, and we think we came to something that's functional. And how, how would you describe it? What's going to help with that kind of dual mode of like having it be like, for lack of a better word, to look have it look grown up, but also have it look gamery right. is the lighting. Because because with all the natural wood tones plus that blue. You're um, gonna want warm light to accent it. Yeah, so then in, in if you want it to look grown up, then you throw a bunch of warm, warm white light on it. But then you can also do some crazy accent colors because the gray is still neutral enough. And it will soak up the color and really show it. Exactly. Um, I'll probably have everything be, um, you know, smart controlled. I'm not going to say the brand because I don't want to trigger 5,000 you know what's out there. Hey Siri, Alexa, Google. Okay, Google. <laughs> I didn't do it. It'd be neat too to, to just be able to say a, a, a trigger word to set up a, a I don't want, it's not, they're not called complications, they're scenes, right? Yes, and or routines. To then suddenly just have it be like <laughs> and then, okay. Relax. Yeah. Brian, my visit, my, my, actually my COO and, and partner in this company, um, he lives on like the 11th story or 12th story of a downtown Long Beach, like sky rise. And it's funny cause it's always like at night, it's like when white light, white light, white light, white light. <laughs> yeah. He's the cause of the nano leaf shortage probably. <laughs> yeah. He's the reason why nano leaves are gone. <laughs> Didn't he right? buy all the nano leaves? <laughs> anyway. All right. Let's go to Ikea. All right. So we made it to Ikea. We know exactly what we want. We've got it all planned out. We know why we're here. What? I'm actually starting a weight loss competition at my gym and I'm trying to prepare by adding a couple extra pounds that'll be easy to lose again. <laughs> but I cheat. Okay, and... There's a lot of stuff. It was two full carts, 16 fills worth of weight. Yeah. And that's just the beginning. You notice it's dark now, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, we were eating that. Yeah, we long. ate for that whole time, and then we were just like, "Oh yeah, we'll go to our customer pickup, <laughs> get our online order." <laughs> no, we we sat there forever trying to figure out how we want to do the. Um... Well, you'll see, because we haven't even talked about that part yet. You'll see. It later. All right, so it's nine o'clock at night. I've literally been at this for twelve hours today. Here's what we got. So this was originally my office. It's all painted. The bed that was upstairs is down here now, but disassembled and not put back together. That's the dining room table that was my desk. That is gonna to go to the studio and find purpose there. And so this room 
the exception of my sim rig that is still sitting here until we're done upstairs and my chair, which I'm not sure I'm gonna keep, um, is done until the carpet is in. So this will be a project after the office is done, obviously. We're going on vacation at the end of this month. And so we're probably not gonna get the carpet replaced until after that, because of how long it takes to get the, whoa, dark, how long it takes to get the special order stuff. So let's show you what the nearly blank canvas looks like for the office upstairs. So as you can see, nothing's in here. I've got all the wall plates back on. Funny thing is like the painters actually plugged those holes for me and then painted over them. So it's not perfect. You can still kind of see the indents, but I think it's funny. Um, so for now, I don't have to put a wall switch on there or a, a switch plate cover to block it. The only thing still up here that's not going in my office is that hope chest, which belonged to my wife when she was young, but I need help carrying this down the stairs. It's heavy. Phil's gone home a long time ago, obviously. So anyone that's ever taken on any kind of a project like this can understand when I say it's easy to go, oh yeah, it doesn't seem that hard. There's not that much stuff. Two days later, you're like, well, I've got an empty room now to start with. <laughs> anyway, we're going to bed. We'll see you tomorrow. With all you have is oh, a screw. <laughs> like, anyone lives in an apartment complex with neighbors upstairs, you'll know. <laughs> I was wondering, can I jump without making a sound, right? You gotta go lower. Hey! So we got three of the Alex drawers put together. One over there with our time last camera that's currently dead that we're filming. That but fell over three times. It fell off the window and stuff. Um, Phil's putting together the fourth one. So obviously, as you can see, we've gone with Alex furniture for the drawer. The typical Alex drawer is putting a wood top on it. But we're gonna then kind of build upon that over time. Um, my wife and I are now putting together the TV stand because we'll be putting a TV on the wall behind Phil back there somewhere. And then Phil's putting together, like I said, the last one. So hopefully in the next time we come back, there will be desks or at least wood tops on these. And this will be put together. But I still have a ceiling fan to install. We're gonna vlog me punching more holes in the wall because I have to run the TV wires, like the, the power wires and stuff down the wall, obviously. And we'll show you guys how we do that, so. If anyone has ever used one of these Carlby tops, then you know. Oh my Just how God. heavy those are. Woo. So all of this has been for my new setup. Done. So one other thing we haven't talked about that I'm gonna do in here is I'm gonna have a couch right here. I'm gonna have a couch here. I'm gonna have a coffee table, maybe one that lights up. I don't know, we'll figure that out. And this is the, what was it called? Besta. This is the Besta that I kind of pieced together. It's got some nice glass shelves. It's got these translucent doors. We also have the glass top that we may or may not build, be building a standoff and edge molding around so that we can light the top so it's a lit panel. Obviously, we, there's no TV here. And there's no mounts or anything. So I'm gonna show you guys how I am wall mount TVs and kind of get away from code because there's my plugs. I already showed you guys the ethernet, how I did the ethernet down there. I showed you in, that, in the last video too how I know where the studs are. I know there's nothing, no fire breaks in between and I know there's no like anything else other than that electrical plug, which goes up all the way up through the wall and it doesn't cut across. So I use these, and this is gonna be like the third time I've used it. It's from Lowe's. It's the Legend In-Wall Cord and Cable Power Kit. Because you're basically running an extension cord through the wall, you get around code the same way we got around code in my studio by running electrical power to my fake set. That's technically an extension cord. It's not wired into anything hardwired. It's unpluggable. As much as it's gonna sound like a concert, a, concert, a sponsored bit, I kind of wish it was because I go and I buy these every time, but uh, it kind of comes with everything that you need minus the tools, which really is going to be a screwdriver and a drill. It even comes with the fish tape that you need to stick down there to fish through your HDMI and power cables. So there's that. I end up not really needing them though, for the most part. Um, it comes with the extension cord that goes through the wall, which as you can see, just an extension cord. Nothing crazy about that. Now it is currently 2.22 in the afternoon. I've got a gym session at five I've got to get to because I'm a fatty and I like to eat. So I just go to the gym an awful lot so I can eat. <laughs> and 
I'm gonna show you how long it doesn't really take to do this. So this is the part that goes in the wall. You feed that down through. This is the part that comes off the bottom. You can see it's just got this little, well, use your imagination as to what that's like. And then it just, the cables come down there. So what I'm gonna do real quick is I know based on my TV stand, oh, which is over here, <laughs> that I am gonna be mounting it to studs. So I wanna try and center this as much as I can on where the couch is gonna be. So I've got a stud here and a stud here. Remember how I found those in the last video? So I also know in the US, we have 16 inch on center spacing on studs. I'm gonna have another one roughly here. Now I do have a stud finder and I'll grab that in a second. So I'm going to probably mount the, hang, the, the TV mount on these two studs, not these two, because that will be offset way more this way, I think. Crap. <laughs> I should have left this there. So after using the super scientific method of not measuring, but actually having Phil kind of go and stand where the center of the couch is gonna be, we determined I'm just gonna use the two studs that have the coaxial and the power plugs already there. So I know the stud is on the right side of this plug because on the other side, the, the plug is right there. I remember I tried to drill through to hit it. So I know the stud is in the middle. So it's gonna be 16 inches I'm gonna get my stud finder. After all that. that. <laughs> oh my God. No, that's a that's a broken one. So if you get a stud finder that can actually read power, that way you're like, need to. <laughs> so here's the picture of the wall right here. These are the two studs. We're in this room. That window is that window behind me. So we're in that room looking this way. And you see how I have Romex coming across? So Romex is coming down here and then going over to this plug. So if you get yourself a stud finder that actually has, um, it can sense electricity, you should be able to see it. So watch, as I go up. There, see it's like ready, but what it found is electricity. See how it's giving the little voltage meter or the little voltage logo there? That's the only sort of horizontal interference I might have. So this is the template for the TV mount that I got. So the TV can slide left and right on this thing, but this has to be lined up with the studs actually. What I'm trying to decide is not where I'm gonna mount this right now, where I'm gonna put the hole for the cables to pass through. Cause I don't want it to be seen below the TV. And I don't think they're gonna fit in the middle right here because of the size of these. So I'm probably gonna go right above it like that. And that's what I was trying to figure out right now is roughly where I want that hole to go. So I'm thinking probably like right about here. So I'm using a, um, <laughs> so I don't I, I always get a bunch of Europeans that are freaked out by our walls. They're like, what the hell? Yeah, because they're not stone walls, they're just sheetrock. So they're hollow. <laughs> so you close all these little flaps, you push it in, feed the cable down, and then when you tighten them, they open up. And then they'll clamp down on the wall. It's all <laughs> What the that? If you need to take it off, so let me show you right now. If I was to tighten it, so you can tell when it grabs, it gets, so right there it's kind of rubbery and spongy. And then finally it just goes like, and gets in there all like Eddie Hall. There we go. So that's in there. So now if you need to take it back out, let's say you need to add another HDMI or something. And the cool thing is like, as you're turning it left, they're closing again. Because I just find it's easier instead of trying to fish the HDMI or whatever down through there and then make an immediate turn down, even though it has a curvature to it, I think it's easier just to feed everything through and then stick it through both ends from the backside. See, it just came back out just that easy. And then for the bottom piece, whoop, like that, right? And that's where your HDMI and all your cables can come through. And then you take that extension cord that came with it and you plug that into whatever. So I'm gonna have, I'm gonna probably quite honestly make a super short cord to go from there to there or from there to the power strip, rather than having to like coil it up and have a bunch of wires. Cause we already showed on, on our studio build how to make an extension cord. So I'll just make my own and then plug it right in. And then that'll go in there like that. So that is quite honestly, the simplest way to get a wall mounted TV that's clean with no cables. If you have sheetrock or even a wood, like some houses are made out of wood right on the inside and you don't have any vertical wood pieces, fire breaks, or any sort of support structure there, 
If you did, you would have to find it with a stud finder, drill a big round hole with a big hole saw, take that out, keep it as a plug, drill a, take one of those wood like flange kind of uh, drill bits, drill a hole through there so you can put your wires through, put the patch back in, mud it, re-drywall it, patch it, and then you'd, you'd be able to do this. But this is the easiest way if you know you don't have any vertical beams, which horizontal. most- <laughs> Or horizontal beams, which most homes in the United States, interior walls do not. So what time is it right now? 2.45. 20 minutes and- With time. all the screwing around and me going and getting the drill and <laughs> talking about it, I could have done this in five minutes. Normally I'm just like, boom, boom. <laughs> oh, and I talked about a plug, right? So if I needed to ever patch this hole, like I was gonna take this out, you hang on to these pieces because then you can put it back in and you use that as a plug then to mud and, and refill and all that sort of stuff. So hang on to these. All right, guys, work continues. We'll see you in the next video.